A woman in Wichita is holding out for a second chance at life. Gina Monarez has been on the kidney transplant waiting list for three years. Her kidney has only 7% functionality right now, and she spends 12 hours a week doing dialysis treatments. KSHB 41 News reporter John Kim has a closer look at Monarez's journey with kidney disease and why thousands of people like her are left waiting for the perfect match. Really, you get the freedom of time because right now time is is limited. Time is of the essence for Gina Menares, who tells me she has years of life left to live. Menares knew her family had a history of kidney disease, but it wasn't until 2014 when it affected the reality of her life. And it was a total surprise because you know, you don't feel sick. Since then, her kidney function began to drop consistently, prompting doctors at St. Luke's Hospital to put her on the transplant list. She also started peritoneal dialysis in August of 2021, which seemed to be successful until three weeks ago. I feel overwhelmed. COVID-19 has added social and medical barriers to her immunocompromised state. If I happen to get COVID or be exposed, I'm not, you know, and they call that day and say, hey, we have a transplant for you then you can't get it. Dr. Lee Cummings is the surgical director of kidney transplant patients at St. Luke's Hospital. He says getting on and off the waiting list is often guided by public bias. It's something Menares saw firsthand. It's really like you almost have to market yourself to try to, you have to go out there on your own to try to find your own donor, tell your story. And it's hard because, you know, it's personal. Other disparities of the system may be financial or even geographical. For example, the average wait time for a transplant in the Kansas City area is two to four years, while it may be close to 10 years in California. This is due to three reasons. The efficiency of the organ bank is probably top willingness to donate for the families and patients. And thirdly, the uh, increased number of donors who die in a particular way. Dr. Cummings tells me about 107,000 people are on the waiting list at all times. 85% of them are in need of a new kidney. With not enough donors, 17 people die nationwide each day waiting for a transplant. We are a opt-in country, meaning you have to opt in to become a donor. So whereas in other countries, they were opt out. And so that naturally puts uh, us at a somewhat of a disadvantage in terms of getting uh, organs. Gian Kim, KSHB 41 News. If you decide to become an organ donor for someone in your life, the cost of testing and the procedure itself will be covered by the insurance of the organ recipient. The success rate of organ transplants are very high and pose no great danger to the donor.